Oh my god, hey! I'm running out of ideas. Welcome back to my kingdom of stagey isolation. If you're seeing my face for the first time, or you've seen my face before and you've just forgotten who I am, my name is Mickey Joe, and I'm obsessed with all things theatre. So I have just had a summer where, as well as not being able to see much live theatre, not being able to see my family and friends, I also wasn't able to go to the Edinburgh Fringe. I love the Edinburgh Fringe very much. One of my favourite shows from last year, a new musical called Islander, has released a cast recording during lockdown. So today I'm going to be listening to that for the first time since I saw the show in a tent at Summer Hall in Edinburgh last year. From what I can remember about this show, it was really beautiful musically, and it was two girls who were layering and creating melodies and harmonies using loop pedals. In the theatre world, I feel like that's still relatively untapped. I haven't seen a lot of shows that use loop pedals to create dynamic sound on stage with a smaller cast, and if I haven't seen it, it probably hasn't happened, because I see everything. I'm like the Eye of Sauron, but for theatre. So this cast recording is available anywhere where music can be streamed. I'm searching for it right now on Spotify. It's about islands and uh, Scotland and Wales in it, I think. Not the country, but like actual Wales. Like there's, wa like, there's Wales. The score is written by Finn Anderson and it's performed by Kirsty Findlay and Bethany Tenick. Let's have a listen. Oh, that's so crisp. And Scottish. There's the harmony. So brave to be a cappella for this long. And it all stays together. Storm. Lovely. Yes! Oh my god. Did you hear that? Screams! Oh. This is the loop pedal stuff. Because there's now three layers, but two people. I'm so nervous when they were doing this on the stage. I was like, what if you mess up on one of the takes and then it just, you hear your mistake every time coming back round and round. This is why they're doing it and I am just listening. Oh, isn't that so stirring and so haunting? It's setting a scene, it's creating a mood. Just beautiful. Ah, the next song is called There Is A Whale. Told you there's a whale. There is a whale. Bruise blue on the there is a whale. white coral. There is a whale. There is a whale. Just a whale. A baby. Aye. Oh. There is a whale. That that is that is a whale. Next song. Video call. Very lockdown appropriate. Ahead of its time. More loop pedal layering. So clever. Oh, that was so hard, those rhythms. So good. Oh yeah, there's a big vote happening in the island community. It's like Brexit, but for the Scottish Isles, from what I can remember. Still just two of them making all this. Yes, stop line. <gasps> you know when you're just trying to tell your parents about the whale that you found and they won't listen to you? I've, if it's happened to me once, it's, it's, it has not happened to me once. And I'm from the beach. Never found a whale. I don't even think I've seen a whale. God, I've had such a sheltered life. The next song is called Spikin. S-P-I-K-K-I-N. I fully don't know what that is, unless it's a regional way of saying speaking. We'll find out together. Oh, this is the big town meeting. It does mean speaking. Oh, this is so Scottish, I love it. Don't these rhythms just spark so much joy? They just spark joy. What is it with folk musicals and referencing gnomes? Amelie called, it wants its gnome back. 
Full of life now we've made holes in the Okay, now it's Scottish. Good grief. Hi everyone, it's me, Ailey. Isn't there a way we could have the best of No one listens to this girl. What is happening in that song, from what I remember, there is an impending vote on the island about whether or not they should return to the mainland because the mainland is no longer going to be able to support them financially. So they're deciding whether or not their community way of life is going to remain sustainable. Very interesting thing for a musical to talk about. Next song is called There Is A Girl. 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 I can't. My Scottish accent is terrible. Girl. There is a girl. There is a girl. Strange girl. To the that was worse. This is where we meet the other character. On the beach, not from around here. There is a girl. There is a girl. There was a whale, and now there's a girl. They like to be very clear with their exposition in this musical. Oh, this is cool. This is a different vibe. Kind of poppy, early 2000s. This is my school. Mind the drip. Every mark drawn on the corridor, I know it all. Oh, I loved that on the corridor. Like the back of my hand. Stranger than the songs and stories ever told me. What was that riff? So this is where these two girls are meeting for the first time. One of them is local to the island, and the other one has just appeared. Stranger than the songs. The fluidity of these vocal lines is just gorgeous. And the harmonies are so tight and so good. This song is so cute. I have so much time for a platonic female duet. What's happening? Is she not concerned that this girl she's just met can harmonise with herself? What a superpower to have though. Next song is called The Fin Folk Song. Who are the Fin Folk? Are they fish people? Shrouded that bass he just held node makes me very uncomfortable. By day is the land where the fin folk belong. The so beautiful yet also really scary. And the grey of the stone in their eyes. I'm really here for how much folk music is getting infused into musical theatre. It's so inherently theatrical and just sounds so cool. I've tried three or four times I get very pitch perfect vibes from this. So sad. Can you imagine though, a show writing songs like this about families struggling to connect because they're living physically a long way apart and they can't get to see each other before COVID happened and then all this happened, like madness. A baby girl. Is this a human baby? Not a whale. Not a baby girl whale. They'd say whale. You'd say whale. Looks like we'll be staying after all. So probably not a whale. See that great whale in the water. I've not witnessed anything. And now there's a whale. You didn't happen to spot me garden gnome while you were out. This man seriously needs to let this garden gnome go. Like it's been long enough. Oh my god, we're on to the last song. We're on to the very last song. Sending it back to the land. The unity of these two. So well cast that they're so in sync with each other. And they gave such great performances. These harmonies are so good. Oh, and that's the ending of the cast recording. It's such an intriguing, such a unique show, such a unique cast recording as well. Make sure you go and have a listen for yourselves on Spotify or whatever streaming platforms that you have. And let me know what you think of the show down in the comment section. If you saw it at Edinburgh or at Southwark, let me know down in the comment section what you remember about the show and what you thought of it as well. I hope you've enjoyed today's video of me reacting to this new cast recording. If you did, make sure to subscribe to my Stagey YouTube channel where there are plenty more reaction videos and a lot of other Stagey content coming very soon. 
If there are any other new cast recordings you would like me to react to, please bring them to my attention and I will do my best to make a vlog about it. Make sure you stay safe, go listen to Islander, and have a stagey day. For ten more seconds, I'm Mickey Joe Theatre. Oh my god, hey, thanks for watching, have a stagey day. Subscribe! <laughs>